A diagram of the carbon cycle can be produced by first indicating the main reservoirs of carbon or where they can be found, and then showing the way in which carbon is transferred between the reservoirs. So here you can see the main reservoirs of carbon, so carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and carbon in the hydrosphere, carbon in consumers, dead organic matter and producers, and finally carbon in fossil fuels. Now we can add to our diagram the ways in which carbon is transferred. So first by feeding, this transfers carbon between producers and consumers and also between consumers themselves. Then we have respiration and this releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and since respiration is conducted by producers, consumers and the organisms that break down dead organic matter, we can add it to all three of those. Death of producers and consumers and also excretion by consumers transfers carbon to dead organic matter. Photosynthesis involves the uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the plants or producers. Combustion or burning releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And then finally you have fossilization or partial decomposition which transfers carbon from producers to fossil fuels.